and with me is my wife, Dee. As we continue to work our way back, we believe the first thing to get back to is prayer. After 40 years of ministry, we know that prayer changes things. You're not alone. If you need prayer, call the MTC Christ is Center prayer line. Or submit your prayer request online, mtcfc.org. Remember, Remember we're, we're here, here for, for you, and we've, we've got, got your back.
we'll go from there. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Glory to your name, God. Is God great to you today, saints? YouTube, Facebook, and all of my family. Is God great to you today? You know, I, I Pastor been sneaking in on my time with God. You know, he'll do that every now and then. And, you know, I was listening to Bishop Jakes and I was studying. And he said something that I want to drop today now. It's got to be quick and sharp. What he said was, it's not just how you start a thing. You see how we just start this service with great and mighty. But it's also just as important, Facebook, YouTube, and my family, how we finish a thing. Are you finishing some things good? You can start some things, but starting is not just it. You got to be able to finish. Let's learn how to finish strong, saints. Come on, saints. You know you got some things unfinished. It's not just how you start. It's how you finish a thing. So keep the service in mind. We starting hot. We starting fresh. We starting with God is great and he mighty. And we want to continue that same vein. We want to welcome you like they said I am Misha Jones and um, this is the day that the Lord has made and guess what saints it's your opportunity to rejoice and be glad in it um, to our visitors and Facebook we welcome you because we believe in expressing our praise aren't you ready to praise are you here to praise you ready to praise because I'm telling you this team we fired up today we fired up today we ready to praise, we ready to worship. Feel free to join in with us. Our order of services includes the praise and worship that is already on fire, it's already started. And then we'll go to altar call. We got a special song today for you today. And of course, you know, Pastor has an amazing word. Ready to, he's loaded and locked. He ready to unlock it. So get ready. We have children's church today. So if your child is between two to 12, Feel free to visit our left corner. And um, we also have a cry room. If you have a baby that's unsettled, they can go to your right. The urchins will show you how to get there. Please limit your walking and talking as much as possible. No eating in the sanctuary. And remember, your tithes belong to God. And feel free to sow into this ministry because this is our ministry. Um, I want to welcome and continue the service with two wonderful brothers that belong to my family. Um, one is going to do the scripture, and that will be Elder Michael Walker. And one is going to do the prayer, Elder Jeff Harris. Keep in mind, it's not how we start. Let's finish strong, saints. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, give him the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Come on, give him a praise. He's worthy to be praised today. Anybody excited about Jesus? Come on and lift him up. Hallelujah. Come on and lift him up in this house today. Hallelujah. Anybody excited about Jesus? Come on, lift him up. Give him a hand praise. Give him a hand praise in this place. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. How many know he's worthy to be praised? Hallelujah. Come on and clap your hands and give him a praise. Hallelujah. Come on, let the devil know it. You got the victory today. Come on, let the enemy know you got the victory today. Come on, decree and declare it over you today. I got the victory today. All oh, glory to God. We bless you in this place. Just for a few seconds, we bless you in this place. Come on, sanctify this place right now. Come on, sanctify these few seconds. We bless you, Lord. We give you all the glory. Come on, sanctify this place just for a few seconds. It's holy, holy. That place is holy in Jesus. Come on, reverence him just for these few seconds. There is a holy place in Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Clap your hands for Jesus. I'm excited about the Lord. Our scripture will be coming from Romans, the eighth chapter. Amen. Bless the Lord. And we'll start at the 28th verse. And so we know all things work together for good to them that love God. 
Look at somebody say, you don't love God? <laughs> to them who are called according to his purpose, for whom he did foreknew, he did also predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the first among, among many brethren. Moreover, whom did he predestinate? Them he also called. And whom he called, he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. Amen. Tell somebody God did it on purpose. Tell somebody God did it on purpose. Amen. Glory to God. The next voice you will hear, amen, will be Elder Walker. Amen. Bringing forth the prayer. Good morning, everybody. Everybody good? Everybody love my Jesus? Hey, I'm finna get ready to pray. I won't be before you long. Amen. Yeah, Could we bow our head and pray, please? You know what I'm going to ask the Holy Ghost to do? Holy Ghost in the sweet name of Jesus. I ask you right now, sir, to please come down. Come, sir. Come down in hover. Hover now. Hover now, please, in the sweet name of Jesus. Now, Daddy, Holy Spirit, I ask you for a favor. Let the atmosphere in heaven come down to this place now. I ask you, Almighty God, change the atmosphere. Let the atmosphere in heaven begin to come down now in the name of Jesus. Now, so since the atmosphere in heaven is down, we cry, holy, 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 the Lord God Almighty, the Lord God Almighty, who was to kneel, to kneel to come. The Almighty God had just stepped into the building. So now I am now standing on holy ground. So I'm going to take off my shoe because the Almighty God is in the, the building. We are now standing on holy ground. Holy ground. This is holy ground. Holy ground. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. He is holy, holy, holy. We are now standing on holy ground. It's holy ground. It's holy ground. This is the eight month. The eight month, number 18, new beginning. The day is the 27th. We have four more days to throw this money in. Four more days. But my Bible tell me Jesus know last year from the dead. He's been dead four days. I'm finna deal with the number four. Four. Four days, four weeks, four months, four years. Jesus grown in the spirit. And once he grown in the spirit, Lazarus came forth. He said, remove the stone. Remove the stone. What's holding you back now? Remove it in the name of Jesus. I feel the grown in the spirit. Oh, 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 oh. Come forth in the name of Jesus. Come forth in the holy name of Jesus. This is holy ground. Can we say this is what? Can we say holy? 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 holy. holy. Lord, God Lord God Almighty? Lord God Almighty? Who was? And is. And he is to come. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, God. We bless you this morning. We honor you, God. You get the glory. Unto my king, yeah. I will sing a praise unto my king, yeah. He is creator of everything. He is creator of everything. I will exalt him, his name adore, yeah. I will exalt him, his name adore, yeah. Honor and reverence for.
is holy. And now declare that thy name is holy.
like the Lord. Nobody like the Lord. She said something that brought something back to my remembrance. Many of you know me as a singer, worship leader, maybe professionally. For a long time ago, I used to play a lot of sports. Swimming, football, basketball, baseball, track, many other things. And one thing that was very important, and this is what Sister Misha was talking about, it's just not about how you start, it's how you finish. But there's, a, there's an important part of sports that we seem to sometimes miss in church. The most important part is who goes first. They flip a coin in football. Depends on your track record in baseball, who goes first. That really matters because it gives you the competitive advantage over your enemy. So when we come into church, the first play of the game, or a church, however we want to call it, is when the minister comes and stands and says, welcome to more than conquerors. We all have extra plays. We're, we're doing other stuff. But when that first person approaches this stadium, I mean, this, 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 this platform, we need to understand that that is our first play. And it is our competitive advantage over the enemy. Yeah. So we can put our hands together. And I want you to imagine the biggest enemy of your life in between your hands. And I want you to clap your hands like his head is in between them. And just clap them. Just clap your hands. There's victory in your hand clapping. The scripture tells us that the only thing that the serpent can do is bruise our heel. But we shall what? Crush his head. There is no injury in the game called Christianity. There is no injury when we come to church. Because the Bible tells us that we are going to crush his head and that he can only bruise. So it doesn't matter how hard you dance. It doesn't matter how hard you run. It doesn't matter how hard you clap your hands. What we do know is that the enemy is defeated with your praise. Not 
with me facilitating this, but out of your mouth, the enemy is defeated. Out of your mouth, the enemy is defeated. The enemy is defeated by what you do, not by what I facilitate or what we facilitate. It's about what you do. So we're going to do a first play again. I want you to get ready. If you play sports or anything, you know you get in a huddle and you start talking about the play. You start talking about the play. Our huddle is Because that means the enemy doesn't know what the play is. See, you can't talk in English words because then the enemy will know what the play is. So I dare you to get in your huddle, your huddle with God, and you just begin to work it out. If you want the competitive advantage, I dare you to get in a huddle. You I dare you to get in a huddle and just begin to worship God. Just begin to worship Him. He'll give you the strategy if you want it. He'll give you the strategy if you want it. Hallelujah. Glory, God, we thank you. We thank you, God. I know we need to move, but I want everybody to get in your personal huddle. Get in your personal huddle. Get in your personal huddle. Because God is speaking in your personal huddle. For you are great, God. You are great, God. Hallelujah, you are great, God. Glory to your name, God. Glory to your name, God. Lift up holy hands in reverence to the King. In reverence to the King. The King of kings and the Lord of lords. The master, the captain of my soul. He's the captain of my soul. He's the captain of my soul. God is speaking in this atmosphere. He's speaking directly to you if you would download the play. And when you walk out of this building today, after you've heard the prophetic voice of the pastor, Steve Green, you'll have the competitive advantage over the enemy. God, we thank you that you've given us a strategy in play to win in life. You've given us breath, oh God, to praise you and only you. If we come in this house and praise, it's only because you've allowed us to. And for that, we say thank you for breath. Thank you for breath, oh God. Come on, give him thanks for breath, for breath to praise him. For life, liberty, and they say the pursuit of happiness, but I say the pursuit of the Holy Ghost is what we're looking for today. God, we thank you. As the minstrels play, just get in a posture of worship. Whether that's on your knees, whether that's lifting your hands, or you could just stand there. But just position your heart and posture your heart for worship. We thank you, God. Every 
Jesus, hallelujah. The word of the Lord says that in Psalms 75, it says, one translation talks about his wonderful name, and if we declare his name, we'll see his wonderful works. In the Message Bible, it says, your name is our favorite word. <laughs> In the Message Bible, it says, your name is our favorite word, and we talk about your works all day long. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It says, I'm calling this meeting to order. That's what God says in Psalm 75. I'm calling this to order. He <laughs> says, when you think that your world is upside down and the world is topsy-turvy. He says, I'm the one that brings it and make it all right. Look, there it goes. Look. And I'll put everything in place again. He said, to the small, smart aleck. You got something to say to the smart aleck. He said, that's enough. And to the bullies, he said, not so fast, my friend. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We're going to ask the elders to come. We got something to say since the Lord has called this thing to order this morning. Hallelujah. We're going to say to your enemies, that's enough. And to your bullies, not so fast. We're going to say to everything in your world, it seems like your world is turned upside down. God says, I'm the one that make it all right. I'm the one that make it well, I put a nail in it. I put a nail in it for you. So if you have anything in the situation, the Bible says that he is beautiful for a situation. Whatever your situation is, he is beautiful for that. So we want to bring that before the Lord. Amen. He says, I put everything in place again. He says, don't raise your fence. Now, this God talking. He said, don't raise your fence. Don't raise your fence against high God. And don't raise your voice against the rock of ages. So he got it all planned. He knew it all. So if there's anyone within the situation today, our elders are here to stand in agreement with you and declare the mighty works of God. And let that be our testimony today. Hallelujah. 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 There is one. Hallelujah. And we stand in agreement with her. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. The Bible says that he's the one that goes from the east to the west. He's one that put one up. He 
puts one down, he bring another one up to us that stand on their feet. It is God that causes us to triumph. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Father. Father, we thank you. We stand in agreement, Father, with everybody, with every situation here, those that are on Facebook and YouTube, God. We thank you that there's nothing too hard for God. We declare that the rock of ages is the one, the mighty one who sees. And we thank you for that, Father. We thank you that your name is our favorite. And we'll speak of all your mighty works, God. Thank you for calling this meeting to order today. Thank you for setting things right. Thank you, Lord. Put a nail in it, Father. That settles it. Thank you, Lord God. That cases are closed. Thank you, Lord God. That families are restored. Thank you, Lord. That you give hope, Father, in darkness. We bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, that you are the way. Hallelujah, Lord. You are truth. You are light. You are the life. The light of men, Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are the way, Lord. You're the truth and you're the life. No man comes unto the Father but by you. And we bless you for that, Father. Hallelujah.
your glory to God. the name of Jesus and that Jesus is the way Lord God oh there is no other way father we bless you for that God we thank you Lord Jesus for what you've done what you've done in the lives of the people today father in the name of Jesus and thank you already in advance for what you have in store that will be revealed today in the name of Jesus we bless you father we give you praise and we give you glory. All the people said amen. All the people give God a praise. All the people. All the people give you praise, Father. Hallelujah. We bless you for that, God. We bless you, Father. Yes, God. We thank you for that, Lord. And while we are shouting, while we are shouting, while we're shouting and we're thanking God, While we are shouting and thanking him and we bless in his name, we want to bless him again for giving us the opportunity to praise your name once again. And also at this time, we want to thank him for blessing the works of our hands. We want to thank him while we're shouting for what he's done and his goodness and his mercy. And for his name's sake, that name that has been given to us that's higher than any other name on earth and in heavens above and in the earth beneath, the name of Jesus. We want to thank you again, Father, for blessing our hands, giving us, blessing us, and we want to return that back to you, Lord. At this time, we'll prepare our hearts to give prepare your hearts to give he's blessed us tremendously blessed us and it is an honor to give back to him just a tenth of what he's given us just a portion so at this time we want to worship God with our offering stand to your feet Sing and make this declaration unto the Lord for your givings, for your earnings, for your workplace. Amen. You have blessed the words of my hand. Yes. 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 Y
much more worthy yes, Father. Whenever I come to this place, I see your smiling It's just the first fruit. That's all that you demand, Lord. Just the first fruit is all that you That we can hold it, Lord. We got to bring it to you. bless you. We thank you, Lord God. It is a pleasure, Father, to return unto you a portion of that which you've given us. And we ask that you bless the remainder, Father, in the name of Jesus. Do what you need to do with what we've given to you. And Father, we worship you with it. We thank you for it. And we give you praise for it. And all the people said amen. And all the people give God praise. Amen. Hallelujah. You may be seated this morning. Hallelujah. This has been a powerful morning already. I just don't know what to say <laughs> and what God has in store for us for the rest of this day. I just bless God for it. But it is so good to see you. Corey, that word about the sports thing and the, that, that just, that was, that was good. That, that reached me right there. <laughs> When I go home and think about it, I'm going to come up with something else with it. But I thank you for that. That was a good little revelation for me. Something that I hadn't heard on that wise. And God bless us for that. Amen. Let me, let's celebrate some people today. If we have any birthdays, uh, celebrating any birthdays. Hey, she popped up real good. <laughs> How you doing? Hallelujah. Happy anniversary. Is it your birthday there? Yes, I remember that. That's your anniversary. Hallelujah. We bless God for you. Happy birthday to your elder. Amen. Some oh, anniversary to you guys back there in the back. Hallelujah. We bless God for you. And we pray that this is the best year ever, that you shine bright in the Lord. Amen. You actually become the salt in the earth. Amen. Hallelujah. In the light of the world. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. On the count of three, let's sing this to them. Amen. Let the blessings three. of God be given to you. On your very special day May the peace of God move and reign in your heart May the joy of the Lord be your strength May the love of Jesus love your soul Yes, yes throughout the year So sweet, praise the Lord. 
Amen. They were singing to each other. Amen. Hallelujah. Them married couples were singing. Uh, the blessings of the Lord be given to them. Amen. We bless you guys again. Amen. Happy anniversary to you. Happy birthday and everything. Pastor Green, welcome into the sanctuary. I know you've been listening all morning. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. So let's sing a love song to him as well. Amen. I, I tried to count last time. I missed the count. I said on the count of three. And I just had to holler three because I had forgot to count. But you go right ahead. <laughs> Oh, it's so good to see you in the house of the in Lord. In the house of the Ooh, Lord. I know you're fresh. I know you're fresh. You're waiting to be. But there's so much for you in store. So much for you in store. So let us let encourage us one. one another Amen. As we sit as we face to face. May we feel. May we feel this love, love and mercy. mercy. He will save us. He will deliver us. He will deliver us. He will restore us. He will restore us. But just, just one gentle touch from the master. From the master's hand. Give us all. Give us all. That heaven. That heaven can afford. We'll give us all. Praise the Lord. Amen. We thank God for that. And we thank you guys that you pressed away this morning, that you intentionally came to worship the Lord with us on today. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless you. I have a few announcements for you. And uh, remember, we, we've been in Bible study on Wednesday nights. It's been a great time of study, and we just have been enjoying and eating up the Word of God. We want to invite you to come in and and join with us on that. Now, some of you have been asking about those recordings because they haven't been aired on Facebook and YouTube. And some of you have been wanting to know about that. So um, we have recorded it on CD. For those of you that's been asking, they'll be available for you in the bookstore. Just go in there and inquire about that. See, hey, there you go. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's the word of the Lord. Amen. So you can get that from the bookstore. Just stop by there and let them know. Amen. We want you to save the date for the following. Minister's training class will start on September the 16th. Hallelujah. Amen. That class is full, honey. It is, cool. it is full. Many of you are recognizing the calls or you think that you have the calls. Well, it'll be identified and you'll know who you are before you leave out of there. But we have a great uh, list of uh, teachers that's going to be ministering in that class of course, Pastor Green, Pastor Don Thompson, Elder D. Green uh, will be ministering that class. Dr. Donna Sahan, Sahan will be uh, instructing in that. Elder Mason Reeves, Elder Rochelle Wallace, Dr. Joyce Wesley, and Dr. Chastity Roberts. Amen. That is going to be and one exciting class. Amen. Give God praise for what he's doing there. Amen. Uh, we had planned to respect workers' appreciation, but we, we're going to cancel that. We'll let you know uh, what we're going to do later, but that's been canceled. We want you to mark your calendars, though, for our Labor Day impartations. Amen. So we have Labor Day prayer right here in the sanctuary. It's our annual prayer. Amen. It'll be right here in the sanctuary. It starts at 9 o'clock a.m. We're asking all of you to come out and enjoy and be a part of that. Amen. We want you to also get ready for our annual boot camp training. That's for all leaders and workers, all trustees, board of ministers, directors, auxiliary leaders, captains, workers. If you want to be a worker, if you think about working and knowing that we need you, we need you to be here. Amen. We have a theme for that is reassembling the army of God, understanding marching orders, and the 20 characteristics of a good soldier. Amen. We are in the arm of the Lord, and you need to know your part. Amen. Hallelujah. We're looking forward for that. Uh, my Father's Business Impartation will be held on Sunday, September the 10th at 9.30 a.m. It'll be uh, for business owners, managers, supervisors, directors, salesmen, and those wanting to start a business. Amen. Co-workers impartation. It will bring uh, your co bring your co-workers in your um your uh, employees to Sunday and Pastor Green will lay hands on them and pray for them, okay? So if you're having a co-workers that 
just bring them and pass the pray for them and pray for their working relationships and that all is well there. Amen. Praise the Lord. You received the 30-day devotional uh, that we're in the midst of right now. And if you haven't, uh, we do have some in the for you for those of you that don't have them, but all of you should have them by now. But if you don't, we have them for you. Uh, if you take part of that, amen, we'll be greatly appreciated. Uh, we have heard, uh, you know, look over the on the rise. We're in our, as you can see, spaced out right now. Phase two is what we're calling it. Level two, that's where we are right now. If there's anything different and changes, we'll let you know. Okay? But right now, this is where we are. In the reset, that's where we are right now. I'm coming back after COVID and everything, just sitting in the house in the water. You'll notice a few things, a few changes, upgrades in several places. Our visitor center, uh, our visitor's packet, the way we're doing that, and our TV opening, you'll be seeing a little bit more about that. Leaders' pictures, some came out and took pictures on yesterday. You'll see new pictures on the wall and everything. Our social media and website that's being updated. Uh, of course, you know already about the Bible study and the way that we have done uh, the tithe and the offering. So we're excited about all of that. <coughs> And uh, you've heard also all the pictures. Have you seen the pictures all? We've played all about the respect, uh, back to school rallies and everything. But since then, we've had some things. We've been giving out uh, some other additional book bags. We gave some out to commissioners, Tyson and Scales, some to the um, sheriff's office, to juvenile court. Uh, to affordable connectivity, and they made a generous donation uh, with Reverend Arthur Price of 16th Street Baptist Church, and now 500 customers in our community now have access to broadband Wi-Fi, and at a low rate. Amen. So isn't that wonderful? That is very wonderful. Amen. Praise the Lord. That almost includes uh, our announcements, but if we have any first-time visitors here with us today, we want you to go ahead and, and scan the QR code up there, and uh, it'll ask you a couple questions, and after you do that, and after service is over, stop by the visitor center. We have a gift for you. Amen. We're going to also, at this time, ask our ushers to come and give out some envelopes for you. Remember, the gold envelope is for your tie. Amen. We've already worshiped God for that. The white one is for the uh, offering. And there's another one for any other areas that you would like to contribute to. Amen. But we bless God for you today. Let's give God a great big hand of praise for all he's done, all he's said, all he's going to say. Amen. As the voices of Judah come and minister to us today. Amen. Give God praise for them. Amen. Under the direction of Elder Tony Gaines. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. The hymn writer wrote, my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name, only to say, on Christ the solid rock I stand, all on the ground is sinking sand. Receive the choir as they come before you this morning. i 
stand to your feet to the solidity of God, to the permanence of God. Uh, if it's possible, would you stand to the faithfulness of God? Uh, when you try to describe God, one of the best ways God described himself to Abraham from the beginning is he said, I am the almighty God. Translated El Shaddai. Which means more than the breasty one. It means a mountain. You know, it's one thing for God to be a rock, but it's another thing for him to be a mountain. A mountain suggests permanence, stability. If we stand to the El Shaddai of God today, uh, to the holiness of God. Elder Michael Walker, when he was praying, I mean, it's just been off the chain all morning. Just give the Lord a hand for all that has taken place. It's just been off the chain. Elder Michael Walker was will be seated here in a moment. Uh, was asking the Holy Spirit to just come down uh, and just descend in this place and hover as he often likes to say. I love it when he prays that. He asked the Lord that he would just hover over this place. Brother Minister Corey said something very similar to that. He was talking about, I almost lost it, the expanse of God. And if one is not listening with an ear to hear, they would only hear the melody and the tone of your song one of the most profound things you kept talking about was in the beginning God was a word and you described that Genesis 1 so profound of where we are look at your name and say it's about to get expansive in this room tell somebody he didn't say expensive he said expansive hang with me for a moment I'm just extrapolating the worship one of the most profound things that God did in creation is after he said, let there be light, he divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And he called that space in between heaven and earth the expanse. We get the word expand, which is to suggest to all of us that it would be very expensive for you to try to expand without heaven and the firmament being in the midst of your expanding. I'm going somewhere. I'm just talking about what you get ready to do, which you cannot afford. But heaven told you you can do it. He called the expanse, and uh, Kenny Copeland talked about this one his teaching. I'm going to try not to get there. And without getting too long with it, he reminded me of something I long forgot. He says the first flood was not Noah's flood. Hang with me. The first flood was not the one in Genesis 6 when God said, I will no longer strive with man. But when, when Noah built a boat, that was the second flood. Somebody said, well, when was the first flood? <laughs> Tell somebody, don't lose it right here. It was in the beginning that God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness, watch these words, was upon the face of the deep. The deep represents a flood took the first age out. You're not hearing me. I say a flood took the first age. That's where we get the fossils, the dinosaurs, and the earth being millions of years old. It was a flood, and darkness was riding upon the top of the deep. I don't know how deep it is in your life, but the first thing that God must do when the enemy comes in like a flood, he must speak to the darkness uh, and say, let there be light over the depth that's in your life. And then what God did, once he could see the darkness, was he expanded the waters uh, that were under the firmament from the waters that were above the firmament. And he called that firmament the sky. Uh, look at your neighbor and say, the sky is the limit of what I can have. 
you didn't hear me. This is the theology. The sky is the limit to what I can have. The sky is the limit to what I can have. Just believe and receive it. God will perform it today. Day. Give God a praise that miracles are in the atmosphere. 
Y'all about halfway there. Y'all, y'all still in church. Y'all still in church. We did all this praying and shouting and saying Jesus Christ is the way and all that not to get a miracle. Somebody open your mouth uh, and declare uh, that the atmosphere is pregnant uh, with miracle, with life changing, uh, burden removing, uh, yoke breaking power. Oh, yeah, yeah. My, my, my. Uh, somebody help me, Judah. Give God a praise uh, until the doctor next week say cancer is not there. Uh, somebody open your mouth uh, until the lawyer said case is already closed. Uh, somebody open your mouth uh, and say the job is already mine. Uh, somebody praise God uh, in the expense. Uh, and the expense is called uh, the firmament. Uh, Come on, I said the word expense is called the firmament. Uh, and the Bible said, uh, you ought to praise God uh, in his sanctuary. You ought to praise God uh, in Psalm 150 uh, in the, for his excellent greatness. Uh, somebody said, great and mighty is he. You better praise God uh, if he's that great. Uh, he's a doctor that never lost a patient. Uh, he's a lawyer that never lost a case. Uh, Somebody give God a praise. Uh, you ought to do better than that. Uh, I think you come on. Uh, the lion of Judah is roaring. Uh, the lion of Judah is roaring. Uh, the lion of Judah is roaring. Uh, I don't know what's got you crying, uh, but the Lord said, Tell him, uh, weep not. Uh, oh, Mary, don't you weep. Uh, tell Martha not to mourn uh, for the lion. Of the tribe of Judah has prevailed. Tell somebody, the problem is uh, you may need a miracle this week and you don't even know it. Uh, you may need a miracle in your education uh, and you don't even know it. Uh, you better praise God, somebody read, uh, for the God that was uh, and the God that is. Uh, and if anything is coming against you, open your mouth and give God a praise and tell somebody, it's Sunday. Thank you, choir. Praise team, remain for a moment. Remove the other mics. I feel one more praise. Oh my God. Tell somebody, somebody going to get a miracle this week. And God is not going to wait until you get in surgery to perform it. Huh? God will perform it today. God will operate on your body today. Huh? He's not gonna wait on your medication to change. Huh? God will perform it today. Huh? Look at your neighbor and say, today's got a miracle. I'm getting this from the expense. I'm getting this from the expense. I ain't got into the message yet. Keep that miracle before me right now. I'm, I'm getting to my regular. I feel miracles in the room. Uh, glory, glory. I feel mighty miracles. Uh, I feel family miracles. Uh, I feel school miracles. Uh, I feel protection miracles. Uh, and it's all in the sky. Uh, sometimes the enemy, uh, you are sometimes a sandwich uh, between two flecks. Uh, that's what Noah, he was sandwiched between two floods. Uh, the floods in Genesis 1 and 2. Uh, and God said in between that flood, uh, let there be light. And after God called light, because darkness was upon the face of the deep. What do you think the deep is? Your standard is about to go up. You ain't about to go down. God's about to take you higher, higher, higher.
was not this was in a Mike said there the police were heaven come down well he skillfully did that and he said everybody needs to start saying what they're saying in heaven holy 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 he just starts saying holy holy because that's the only thing they're saying I'm gonna get to my uh, no damage loss message in a moment but I'm still in this expanse thing you were talking about you just said it you said you was calling a play a huddle so smooth it said in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and there was an expanse we call it in the sky or the heavenlies because all your blessings are coming from the sky from heavenly places now let me say this I want you to get this I might have to go back about 35 years to get this scripture I had to look it up to make sure it was there let me describe this and Sit down at your risk here, and we'll sing something in a moment. But remain standing if you like, because I'm not through. But I just don't want those that don't have the physical capacity to stand for a while. I want to help you. But the rest that can stand, do so. Psalm, I'm sorry, Hebrews 13, 15 gives us a crazy principle that's not widely understood. It says, by him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise continually. You can bring that up. Hebrews 13, 15. The fruit of our lips giving thanks. Now this is crazy before I start teaching. There is a dimension of the fruit of your lips that has to do with intimate worship. If you ask two people that's dating what's the fruit of their lips and they'll tell you kissing each other. I need you to get this. This is about to be crazy. When God gets ready to expand his territory, he always allows the word kiss to be involved. And it's not kiss FM smooth R&D. It's the lips. This is profound. Psalm 8510. If you never saw this, you'll never forget this a day in your life. In Psalm 85, one of the most hidden, unquoted scriptures and passages, nobody goes to Psalm 85, they go to Psalm 80, God be a shepherd, Psalm 81, how lovely are thy dwelling places, Psalm 82, he called us all gods, right? Psalm 84, the Lord is a sun and a shield, he's a door for us. But that Psalm 85, verse number, Describes what we've been in all morning. In the expanse of the heaven, it is the heavens that's established with worship, with one lip, reaches down to the church that's in the earth with the bottom lip, and they kiss each other through the heavenly places. say man that because you ain't heard nobody teach that but I'm going to teach it to you here when God when the heathen is raging against you and people are imagining vain things Psalm 2 says kiss the son lest he be angry with you there is a dimension I know we do it in all other intimate relationships but we haven't understood the kiss of God there was a place when Judas was at the table and he was going to point Jesus out. He acted like he was with him. And he betrayed him by a what? By a kiss. All this came just a moment ago. I assure you, please, I assure you. Will you read Psalm 85, 10, what it says? I had to look it up in my small print Bible there to make sure it was there. Psalm 85, 10, you saw it. Mercy and truth. Mercy and truth are met together. They are met together like two lips of praise. See, it's not what's coming out of your mouth. It's the revelation of the the mercy that's coming out. That's the lips he's licking. It's not the melodious sound. It's not the vocals. Mercy and truth has what? Met. When you said holy, heaven said holy with the top lip, mm. and earth said holy with the bottom lip. And they kissed each other in the heavenly places. Oh my God. 
that's about 10 years ahead of what you're talking about doing right now. So today, mercy and truth, and truth are met. Have met together in the expanse and they both kissed each other. What group in this room today have done the truth they've never sinned? The other in the group need mercy. But the two together meet in the heavenlies and they release a sound in the firmament called a praise. I want somebody that's in one or two category. Either you need the mercy of God uh, or you've been walking in every truth. It does not matter. Open both your lips without a stiff lip and kiss God and worship God. Send the praise into the atmosphere until it expands the heavens. You're trying to act like I ain't said nothing. I don't even know how you're being still on that with all the principles that you did not do, uh, with all of the mercies that God had. It is of the lowest mercies that you have not been consumed. And now the mercy of God coming from the throne of God, let us come boldly before the throne that we may obtain mercy. Mercy has dropped down into the earth realm and the truth of who you really are is going up out of your lips and they're both meeting. So, the real deal is, will you tell the truth of who you really are? Because the truth of the matter is, without the mercy of God, you would not be standing here right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Will somebody, please, get ready to roar the next part. What is this? Righteousness and peace. Wait a minute. Now here comes another kiss. Two lips. Righteousness is the top lip. Peace is the bottom lip. And they have kissed each other. But in order for any kiss to work effectively in most cases, you got to open your mouth and say something or do something with your tongue. For a moment, I need everybody with no music uh, to just the sound of your lips. Uh, will you open your mouth and maybe you ain't never screamed before. I'll know if you're grateful not by what coming out of that instrument. I want to know, can you open your mouth? Not a song, a sound. Uh, not a tune, a sound. Uh, can you open your mouth until it lodges uh, in the heavenly places? Are you hearing that, Shante? Forget your neighbor. You need to expand uh, so you can shrink the cancer, so you can shrink the tumor, so you can shrink the pill. Until you expand your lips, uh, everything else will be magnified. And Judas just can't do that. Isn't that amazing that Judas tried to kill, tried to, to kiss him? And his name mean praise, but he really didn't have a praise. Because if he had a praise, he never would have turned Jesus over. I don't need a synthetic praise today. I'm in a reset. I need a praise that comes uh, out of your belly and lay out lodges out of your mouth until you thank God, not because of who you have met, but what have met together. Righteousness and peace will meet together this week for you. You'll thank me later. You'll thank me later. You'll thank me later. Will you give God a praise right now that mercy is no longer at the throne of God Tell somebody I'm so glad I met you. But for real, for real, if we had never met, if I had never met Jesus Christ, I would not be standing here today. On Christ, the solid rock, I stand. 
all of the ground. Some people got stuff in their bodies and their accounts that's getting ready to expand, but I'm gonna put a laser light on it right now. I'm gonna put an MRI on it and I'm gonna shrink it with the glory of God. Tumors are shrinking right now, kidney gallstones are being removed right now. Muscle spasm are not spasmodic anymore right now. I feel miracles in this room. I feel room. Oh, do shit to hey. Oh, come on. I didn't come to play church today. I'm looking for a miracle. I'm looking for the doctor to come back and say, it was there when you saw me last time, but it's not there. One of the ages I'm going to deal with uh, when there was no loss with Daniel prayers after 30 days. Uh, one of the ages I'm going to deal with average, average. I'm going to deal with beverages, beverages you drink. But one of the Lord told me to deal with this was called a dosage, a dosage. And there are some of you are receiving all kind of medications and they're increasing the dosage just for you to survive. But the Lord said when you go back to the doctor, not only will the dosage decrease, but there will be no more damage. They're going to change your medication and in some cases remove you off of it altogether. Would you please give God, there ain't no way we're going to just have a song service all up in here. I believe that the miracles of God, for when true miracles, when true miracles play miracles happen uh, well somebody uh, is something and we better quit huh uh, come on come on come on uh, come on let, let's in this holy 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 is the Lord holy is the Lord God God oh, Praise him in the sanctuary. Praise him today. Praise him in the firmament. The firmament is a heaven. Open your mouth right now on the count of three and give God a firmament. Pray. One, two, three. Shout out. Now, you shall cross the room. Shout until your praise expands up the firmament. That's what Psalm 150 said. And if the singers and if the people will praise it, praise them on the instrument, praise them on the drums, praise them on the guitar. Listen, look at your neighbor and say, something is getting ready to expand for you. Give them a spandex praise. Praise him! 
you know we can really go home right there, right? You do know I just released a fourfold bomb on you of mercy and truth, righteousness and peace. And both of them just met together and kissed each other because they were both getting ready to land on you. Come on, somebody. When you, uh, mercy came all the way from the throne. Truth came all the way from the earth. And they met in the heavenlies. And recreated you even though you were coming out of deep situations. That's a crazy word. Thank you, late elder Dwayne Davis. I can't take no credit. I told you it's been about 30 years. He was pastoring when he taught that scripture. I ain't quoted that since then. So I would like to take credit for that. But that was my first apostle taught me that one. (laughs) I just heard it when y'all were up there. I said, what they're talking about is the holiness of God dropping down to you. And you hear the same sound in the earth realm that you hear it in the spirit realm. The two have converged together. Look at your neighbor and say, there's about to be a conversion with you. There's about to be a change. Generally, mercy and truth been able to me. Truth say, I'm going to stay over here and I'm going to kill him if they don't fulfill it. Mercy say, I'm going to stay over here and don't have no mercy on nobody. Righteousness is saying they ain't righteous enough. They ain't holy enough for anything. I'm going to stay over here. And therefore, they ain't got no peace, no prosperity. But when Jesus was suspended on the cross... In the heavenlies, the two converge together. And now you're walking in something that you think you deserve and earn. And all God's got to do is remove your peace and remove your mercy. And you won't get nothing from him. Thank you for the expanse. Now God's about to expand you in some ways. I call it spiritual spandex a moment ago. That's the clothes that the ladies wear to the gym so that everything's convenient. But it's also the same set of clothing they wear to the mall looking for a hooker to let some man know that the gym been working. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. They ain't exercising nine hours. They still got on those spandex. Oh, they want somebody to see this thing is working. I dare you to look at somebody and tell them I've expanded my praise and is and I still got it on, and it's still working. It's tight on me, but it's working. It's stretching my hips. It's hugging my hips, but. It's, it's a clap in my hands because there's a big demon in between my hands and I got to find the biggest demon I can and clap my hands uh, and shout to the heavens uh, until I knock that demon. Clap your hands like the prophet said. Mike. Please be seated. That's another real Mary, isn't it? My Lord, ooh, the word has been so good. I will open up my mouth and say that Jesus Christ, he is the way. What a word from the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's uh, let's get busy. All that came out of the spirit realm. Did I not quote everything that took place before me? In the end, Cheryl Payne Walker. Don't get up and read Psalm 75. Was that Psalm 75? And said something to the bullies. You remember what you read on that? Will you say it again? Just in case we had some people come in late. What a passage of scripture. I didn't tell you to read that. Will you read that one more again? They brought it up on the screen. I said, dog, Cheryl, that's good. 
No, I wasn't saying, no, I wasn't saying everybody dog show. I said, <laughs> right. Dog on show, that's good. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He says, uh, well, you have to go up a scripture. Uh, uh, he says, you say, this is what God's saying, I'm calling this meeting to order. I'm ready to set things in order, set them right. When the earth goes topsy-turvy and nobody knows which way is up, I nailed it all down. I put everything in place again, and I say to the smart Alex, that's enough. And to the bullies, not so fast. <laughs> Well, you said about that name, about the name that I like the most, I called them my oh, favorite. Oh, yes, 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 yeah. that's my favorite too. We thank you, God, we thank you. Your name is our favorite word. Your mighty works are all we talk about. Just tell somebody, his name, his name. is my favorite word. It's my favorite word. If I can't say nothing else, Hallelujah. I'll just say Jesus. Just somebody use your favorite word. Just say Jesus. Jesus. That's my favorite word. Favorite Jesus. Jesus. Well, somebody just say your favorite word. You may not know it's your favorite word. Well, somebody just say Jesus. Jesus. Your favorite word. A word that brings favor to you. When you just say Jesus. Jesus. To all the smart Alex in your life, yeah. say Jesus. Jesus. To all the bullies yeah. in your life, say. All right, now let me continue the word of the Lord um, to us, and we can bring those up, and I'll go as far as I can, and I'll go as fast as I can. I've been on this message since the first of the month in August, dealing with all that goes with August. Gus wins. I'm dealing with disc gusts. In every kind of gust there could be in August, Mike talked about the the um, number eight and four. I mean, he just went on a, a rampage today. But we've been talking about the lion, if we can bring that up. The lion is roaring. Everybody say, the lion is roaring. And as a subthought, uh, is not the same message in the control. I promise it's not. We didn't get very far because the Holy Ghost failed when he was speaking. You do know it is possible for... A man of God to be speaking and the Holy Ghost falls. But I noticed something about when the Holy Ghost interrupts when he's speaking. He generally only falls to a people that hadn't heard everything yet. Peter was speaking to Cornelius' house and they had never heard about the Holy Ghost. So God can drop like that because they are ready to receive. Sometimes some ministers never get interrupted by the Holy Ghost and they can complete all their sermons because they don't have nobody hungry and pulling. Is it all right if the Holy Ghost drops while I'm speaking that he released something that you never heard? Will you give me that permission today? That's Acts 10. So we've been dealing with prayer, damage control. The basis is out of Daniel 6 where I gave you a prayer strategy for the month of August for you to mimic Daniel who was known best for his activity in the lion's den. He wasn't known, men, for his activity in the man cave or in the den during football season. He was known by the lion's den. There's a few clubs that's called the den. So he wasn't known by the dentists or the dentures. He was known how he handled threatening situations. By conspirators, even though the things that were coming against him was a direct result of him being number one. If you are not number one, the enemy will never plot against you. If you, as you'll see in Daniel 6, not preferred and made the short list, as we'll see in Daniel, there was 120 princes and presidents and then there was the three, and that was Daniel, but Daniel was number one. I'm just talking to somebody that believes in some place of your life, you are number one. If that is the case, then people don't like it when you're number one. I'm paraphrasing. 
So those other presidents and princes and the other three conspired or plotted together against Daniel and they couldn't find anything wrong with him. He was perfect. Matter of fact, I'm already ahead of it. I'm going to deal with the spirit of the age, last topic. Spirit of the age, new age, or dealing with our culture. Because there's a lot of things that has infiltrated us through our culture. And we are adopting and adapting superficial philosophies and theories that work counterclockwise to the number one thing that God called us to. And if there's not a preacher to tell us what it is, we would lose it. How do we know that? Because Romans says, how can they, finish with me, hear without a preacher? There are some things you never going to know how to war against the enemy that's roaring if there is no preacher or proclaimer. Well, to make sure that there is a preacher, that's that Satan who goes about mimicking God as a roaring lion himself, will ultimately meet what Revelation 5 called the lion of the tribe of Judah. So he tells you whatever's trying to attack you, don't weep, Revelation 5. Don't worry about it because the lion of the tribe of Judah out of the root of David hath prevailed. Will you please give God a praise for the things that's coming against you that make you really want to cry? As a matter of fact, you are so sure that what's coming against you is not going to last that what makes you so sure is that you're a friend of Jesus like Lazarus. I call it the Lazarus complex where in John 11, Lazarus, the friend of Jesus, encounter a sickness of death and Jesus says to Lazarus before he died, what I'm saying to you, this sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God. Everything that's got you topsy-turvy, got you nauseated, every sickness, sick finances and sick people, can I say out of John 11, that this sickness is not unto death. It is not going to kill you and there will be no loss. But what it's really for, John 11 brings up and then we'll go to uh, Romans chapter 12. Lord willing, Lord willing, Lord willing, I think. But let's start by Brother Lazarus' house for a moment. John 11, because there are some folks that's getting ready to come forth. Because God's going to remove the stone from what would try to keep you in that den. You do know that Lazarus had a, he could have called his uh, death the Lazarus den. Mm -hmm. Lazarus and Daniel had two things in common. Yeah. What was it? They both had a stone in front of them. Mm -hmm. A stone was preventing Lazarus' life. It was another stone that was trying to present Daniel's prayers. What stone has the devil put in front of you that's trying to kill you and stop you from praying? But the Bible said that God rolled the stone away. Will you please give God a praise that God rolled the stone away? In revelatorily, it was an angel, but I know what theophany, what angel that was. I can call you, I can call that angel by name who he was. You know who he was? He was the cornerstone. Because only the cornerstone uh, can remove the stone uh, that's trying to make sure that you fall apart. Ephesians 2.20 calls Jesus the cornerstone because he's the part in that building that holds the whole building together. The only reason that you have not snapped, crackled, nor popped because of the plot is because the stone, the cornerstone has rolled the stone of the lion's mouth away from the lion of the, the den of lions. Will you give the cornerstone a hand?